Hey everyone, John Sofen here, back for another Cards Chat. Poker podcast at the World Series of Poker. So much going on this week at the Rio, but today we're talking about James Holtzauer. Jeopardy! James Holtzauer. Maybe the greatest TV trivia game show contestant ever. If you don't know of him, you must be living under a rock. But we aren't talking about his incredible run on Jeopardy, which saw him win 32 games straight. No, we're talking about Jeopardy! James, the poker player. That's right. Holtzhauer, now that he's done crushing Jeopardy, got back to his roots to play some poker. He competed in a couple of WSOP events on Monday. I'll talk about how those went, but my main focus of this podcast is to discuss how poker can leverage a non-poker mainstream celebrity like James Holtzhauer to grow the game. I'll talk talk about my thoughts on whether or not James uh, could, could have a future in poker, and if so, how it could impact our game. I'll also hit on the 2019 WSOP so far and how Holtzhauer's presence has impacted the series. Matter of fact, I think I'll start right there. So a couple days ago, you may have seen my article on Card Chat where I admitted the first half of the WSOP has been a little bit ho-hum, at least compared to last year. See, the 2018 World Series of Poker, it was just sick from start to finish. Started with uh, Justin Bonomo winning the heads-up title and then uh, finishing the series off with a win in the Million dollar one drop, 2009 main event champion Joe Cotta. All he did was win two bracelets and make the main event final table again. No big deal. Doug Polk and Daniel Negreanu had an entertaining feud going on. And Sean Deeb and Johnny World Hennigan went toe-to-toe all summer in an epic player of the year race. Needless to say, it was going to be tough, if not impossible, for this year's series to top last year's series. So perhaps my expectations coming into the summer were a bit unrealistic. With that said, the 2019 WSOP, it's lacked some excitement. Well, that was until Holtzhauer showed up Monday morning. Jeopardy! James held a press conference alongside Mike Sexton. I was there for it, and it was pretty cool. I even got a uh, selfie with uh, Holtzhauer. Um, it, was, it was pretty cool watching uh, the Jeopardy! great speak with maybe the greatest poker announcer ever. Uh, James played in two events on Monday. He first entered the $1,500 Super Turbo Bounty and had a solid run, but fell short of the money. He also partnered with Sexton in the $1,000 tag team event, uh, but the duo didn't run deep in that one. Holtzhauer was mainly there to promote a charity called Project 150, a nonprofit that raises money for homeless high school kids in Las Vegas. It's a very good cause, but Holtzhauer also comes from a poker background. In fact, before he went on to make millions betting on sports and then another $2.4 million on Jeopardy!, He was a successful online poker pro. Jeopardy! James wore a party poker patch during his short stay at the WSOP. Mike Sexton, of course, left the WPT broadcast booth a couple years ago to rejoin Party Poker as its chairman. So that brings me to something else. And that is whether or not we'll see Holtzauer more in poker now that he's done with Jeopardy! And the answer to that is yes, no, maybe so. Worst answer ever? Well, the thing is, Sexton discussed the possibility of Holtzauer being a sponsored pro with Party Poker. He wanted that, but he said that James's schedule would never allow him to do that full-time, but he did leave open the possibility of Party Poker sponsoring Holtzauer in future Party Poker tournaments, live tournaments, just not on a permanent basis, although he didn't, he didn't say if any commitment has been made. Now, Holtzhauer doesn't need to play poker. He's already filthy rich and makes a killing betting on sports, but and Mike Sexton said the same thing. <clears throat> Having a non-poker celebrity such as Jeopardy! James regularly, regularly competing at the WSOP or other major poker events around the world would do wonders for the game. It could help bring in another audience. Having Holtzhauer around just today at the WSOP brought some attention to poker. Sure, it'll be short-lived because it was just a one-day thing, but I saw articles from ABC, Yahoo News, and other mainstream media outlets talking about the WSOP, all because of Whole Tower's presence. There's literally no way anyone could think that's a bad thing for poker. Now imagine if James decided he was going to grind a full WSOP schedule every year, and maybe even some other tournaments around the world. Now how great would that be for the game? With that said, I'm sorry to say, but it's never going to happen. But I can dream, right? The reason I say it won't happen is because Holtzhauer has so much on his plate and always will. Not only does he have the sports betting gig, and he'll probably eventually return to Jeopardy, but 
Rumors have been floating around that he might end up working for a Major League Baseball organization someday. I love poker and all, but I'm not arrogant enough about the game to think someone would pass up a job in professional sports to play cards. Still, having James at the WSOP even for a day brought some non-mainstream, non-poker mainstream media attention to our game, and that's definitely a good thing. When Michael Phelps or Matt Damon or Ray Romano and some other major celebrities have competed in WSOP, of, WSOP events, poker got some recognition from the mainstream media. We need more non-poker celebs at the, at the World Series of Poker or really any poker tournament. After the Black Friday scandal in 2011 that pushed the uh, major poker sites out of the U.S. market, poker lost a large seg- segment of its casual audience. Many of the recreational players went bye-bye. The game has recovered well in recent years. I mean, I'll admit that around 2014, I, I, was, I was pretty concerned with the future of the game. A poker's popularity was on a yearly decline thanks to Black Friday, but it's been picking up steam again the past couple of years, and I'm glad to see it. Now, more and more recreational players are coming back, as we saw from the $500 Big 50 WSOP event a few weeks ago that had over 28,000 players. What we need now is more celebrities to compete at the WSOP and bring some attention to the game to their non-poker fans. Now, celebrities have a ton of influence in this world, whether it's in politics or entertainment. If, say, Matt Damon decides he's going to play a dozen WSOP events and frequently posts updates about his sessions on social media, you're damn right. Many of his followers will start, will start becoming interested in poker. Unfortunately, we won't get to see Holtzauer in action again this summer, but the series is picking, picking up steam either way. The $50,000 Poker Players Championship is underway, and that's one of the biggest events in poker all year, every year. There's a $100,000 event on the horizon, and we're only nine days away from the start of the main event. The 2019 World Series of Poker is about to get interesting, folks. Make sure you continue checking out all our exciting WSOP content here at Cards Chat. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that like button. Like Phil Ivey after bluffing away his big stack in the main event last year, I'm out.